Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Jensen's. Hope you guys are doing well. Another first impression today. We're taking a look at the new Burberry. It's Hero Eau de Parfum. You could say that Burberry Hero, the original, was not exactly a hype beast. It got flamed by a whole bunch of people out there. I wasn't really taken by it. I thought it was okay. You know, it's it's decent, but it wasn't something that really blew me away. Just kind of one of those fragrances that if you find it for a good price at a discounter, it makes a really serviceable office fragrance, a daily wear, dumb reach kind of scent. If you want something that's a fresh, ish modern woody scent. It did not though take Burberry to the promised land. It wasn't Burberry's fragrance that came out and really set the world on fire and had everybody pumped for the next release in the line. Uh, but that is where we find ourselves with the newest hero Eau de Parfum. This one I bought from Ulta, bought it at the same time as a couple other new fragrances. So I'll link it in the description in case you want to check it out. In today's video, I'll show you guys the presentation, which uh, really Super simple, kind of cheap looking actually. And I'll break the fragrance down a little bit for you, let you know what I think about it and let you know whether or not it's better than the first Burberry. So let's jump into it. Hey, guess what? I got some codes to share with you. Come here, come into this dark alleyway. I've got codes. LuckyScent.com, use the code GENTS10, save yourself 10% off the website. Lucky Scent, pretty much the biggest go-to retailer of niche and indie fragrances in the US. Also, TwistedLily.com, same code GENTS10, 10% off that website as well. And then last but not least, JomaShop.com, GENTS8, eight, eight bucks off any order over 110. They are a discounter, a discounter of many things, especially fragrances and watches. Okay, guys, let's kick it off with the presentation. So here we have the box. And like I said, to me, it just looks kind of cheap. I, I don't really dig the look, but it's whatever. It's just a plain cardboard box. So who cares at the end of the day? Got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size concentration on the front there, Burberry up top. On the back, you have the ingredient information. On the bottom, you have your badge code and barcode. My badge code is 2133. And here is the bottle, same style as the original Burberry Hero but this one gets a darker coloration and has gold lettering instead of black. So you have the name of the fragrance, name of the house and the concentration on the front there, nothing on the back. The cap is magnetic, which is nice. And you have a little logo up on top of the cap. On the bottom of the bottle, you have a sticker with your badge code. And then when you take off the cap around the collar, it says Burberry England, which is a nice little touch. And I'm not sure what does this, I'm not sure what it is, but it sounds like there's something on the inside of my collar here that is making a jingle noise. So check this out. I'm guessing that it's a magnet having to do with the magnetic cap. All right, let's go ahead and waste those sprays. Actually a really strong atomizer. Now, when I very first sprayed this fragrance on, when I pulled it out of the box, gave it a spray and had my wife smell it, she was standing right next to me. She actually did one of those deals where, you know, she kind of makes a, a weird goofy face like shocked Pikachu. And she was like, oh, that's actually really good. And that caught me by surprise. Wasn't what I was expecting. And then I went in, gave it a smell and it wasn't actually what I was expecting. But when I thought about it more, it made sense. So when you look at the note breakdown for this fragrance, it carries over the cedar from the original Burberry Hero. So you have three different types of cedar in the base. So automatically you're thinking it's gonna be really very woody and dense. Then I saw I had pine in the top, I think pine needles officially. But when I thought about a fragrance that had all this cedar and then it has pine on top and all abandoned, giving kind of an incense feel, a smoky feel, I was thinking to myself, this is gonna be a very dark, powerful, woody scent. That's really not what it is. You have to really, really stretch your mind to pick out true pine from this fragrance. Because a lot of times when I see pine, I start thinking back to fragrances from decades ago, like some real powerful masculine fragrances, right? Some uh, classically masculine scents. And I guess incorrectly, I thought that's what this would be. As I said, if you really, really stretch your mind, you can catch little whiffs of what comes off like pine, but that is not at all the focus of the fragrance. And I'd say most people wouldn't be able to pick it out of the scent. Instead, it's more of a resinous, warm, sweet, slightly dark fragrance, and the woodiness comes across more like amber wood. So even though you have cedar, cedar, and more cedar, and then pine, 
Nah, not really. More, more amber woods. So resinous, warm, dark, sweet, little creamy. That's how this one comes across. And if you spray it on side by side with the original Burberry Hero, the original is actually much woodier. That one is fresher. The woods have more of an aromatic touch to them, and you can actually pick out what smells like cedar. This one, even with having pine in it, pine needles, doesn't really have anything green to it. It doesn't really have any kind of aromatic feel. You do have little bits of smokiness in there. So you do get a little bit of that incense feel in the opening through the mid, and it fades a little bit as the fragrance enters the dry down where it's more amber woody and sweet. And I think on the whole, it actually smells good. Yeah, it's another fragrance that I thought would suck and surprised me. If you wanna kind of dumb it down a little bit, it smells like you took bits and pieces, the woody pieces and that, that dark sweetness from something like Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise from Givenchy. None of the iris though, just those other pieces I talked about, mixed it together with the Burberry Hero DNA, but then stripped away most of that cedar in, in a discernible way anyway. Like you can pick up woodiness in Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum, but like I said, it's more amber woody. I know I keep harping on that, but it doesn't come across the same way that the cedar does in the original Hero to me. So this is another one that I feel people are going to crap on for the most part. It is a little simplistic in the way it comes across. You know, it, it does change from the opening into the dry down, but it's not a massive change. Like that, that sweetness that you get in the opening, that's gonna be there. That's gonna be there pretty much the whole way through. It's just the surrounding notes, they change a little bit as it dries down. Again, that incense fading a little as, as you get some other uh, notes popping up. But I think it's solid. I actually think it's really wearable. Nice fall time fragrance, nice winter time fragrance. Leans a little more toward a nighttime wear than daytime wear, but you could pull it off either one realistically. Doesn't smell overly mature or youthful. So a lot of versatility there. And I think the quality on it's not too bad, all things considered. I don't think that at retail, it's, it's maybe a great choice. I mean, if you go into a store, you spray it on and you decide right there, man, I love this stuff, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. But I would say, it'd be better to wait until it hits discounters because Burberry does get discounted pretty heavily. So when that hits discounters and you can pick it up for, uh, you know, 50, 55, 60 bucks, something like that, that'd be a good pickup. I think that overall between this one and the original Hero, that the original is more versatile between the two because this one you could pull off just about year round, daytime, nighttime, more formal situations, office situations, just about anything you can pull this one off pretty easily. I know that people uh, will kind of dunk on this a little bit, but at a discounter, this is not a bad pickup for a lot of people. You can use this in many of the same situations that you could use Dior Homme 2020, for example. So this is really not that bad of a pickup. I know it didn't blow me away and I think it's okay, not great, but really uh, when you're thinking about what you could use that for, it ticks a lot of boxes. This one is not as versatile as the original, can't use it in as many places at as many times. And I think it will be a little more divisive than the original as well, because the original Burberry Hero, all things considered, is pretty safe. So while I'd say this isn't gonna make my, you know, top five designer releases of the year, well, actually I know it won't, and I don't think it'll make the top 10, we'll, we'll see, but I don't think it will. It's still not bad. It's not bad. It's worth checking out. Also, I, I did wear it yesterday, uh, and I did get a compliment wearing it for what that's worth. That was the first time I really tried it out and about, so yeah. Yeah, not bad. Oh, I guess uh, let's run through the performance real quick. So performance wise, actually stays on my skin a long time. Yeah, surprise, a lot of Burberry fragrances don't. Some other older ones do, uh, but a lot of the ones that have come out more recently are a little iffy. This one's good though, stayed on my skin seven plus hours, so all good there. Projection solid too. And even after, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, it still, it doesn't project out heavily at that point, but it still puts out enough that people can pick it up real easy, especially as you're moving around. So for me, comfortably above average with the performance here. Maybe not quite beast mode, but definitely above average. So there we go, Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. For me, not a fail. I like it more right now than I did the original. And the original grew on me over time a bit. So if this one follows, then I'll like this one even more as time goes. And who knows, maybe I wear it more, get more compliments and then start to really like it. All right, guys, I am out of here. If you smelled that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.